It's day two of the state class volleyball tournament, the 3A semifinals, as Lakeville South takes on Champlin Park, number three and the number two seeds. Hello and welcome to XL Energy Center in downtown St. Paul. John Jacobs along with Andy Gugersbury. Egan is already in the state championship match, and in a few hours, one of these teams will join them, Andy, and it should be a great matchup. Yeah, looking forward to a great matchup between two very talented teams with lots of high-level talent, great coaching. Going to be a great one for us today. These teams met just about two months ago in the Southwest Minnesota Challenge. Champlin Park won that best two out of three match in two sets. A matter of fact, back-to-back -back that afternoon, they beat Lakeville South and Lakeville North. The Rebels did on their way to a 30-2 and two record. That yeah, they come it, in with today. That, that was the early indicator that this Champlain Park team was not a team to be messed with. They came, they went down to Marshall and beat some great Metro teams, a couple great outstate teams. Uh, and uh, Lakeville South has not forgotten that match. They are hungry for an opportunity. But Champlain, I think, might be too strong. Lakeville South 28 and 4 beat Lakeville North in their section final. And just the second time to state. For Lakeville South, it's been north off and coming out of a section 1-3A, but this year the Cougars upsetting their rival. Well, they wouldn't say it's an upset, but I think some people would, definitely, <laughs> defeating Lakeville North in that section final this year. Absolutely. It was one of those matches that uh, if you would ask me where the good matches were going to be on Super Section Saturday, I wouldn't have picked the north-south match. I had north winning that one going away, having watching both teams play a lot of volleyball this year. But south came out hungry, served tough, passed very well. One of their best serve-receive matches of the entire season, according to head coach Steve Willingham. Uh, if you haven't seen the highlight of Match Point, you haven't been paying attention on social media. That, ma that went viral everywhere. I had friends from Texas texting me asking about that match and how it ended. Uh, uh, great volleyball to get to the state tournament. And then they uh, they had a little bit of a struggle yesterday in the quarterfinal against Edina, dropping set three on a serve-receive breakdown. And if that is the situation again today, if Champlin serves as tough as we know they can, uh, Lakeville South could be in trouble on the serve-receive side of things. Champlin Park winning in a sweep in the quarterfinals, the only 3 18 that won in three straight. Let's look at our key players for today. Jasmine Mulvihill for Lakeville South. Tell us a little bit about her. Jazz Mulvihill is probably the most polite kid I've ever coached. She's, <laughs> there isn't a time that she doesn't end a conversation with, thank you, coach, I appreciate it. Onto the volleyball side of things, the kid is a six rotation stud. She's hit everywhere for South during her three years. And as you can tell right now, just has a great time with the game of volleyball. Committed to go play for the Golden Bears of Concordia next year. And if they get an upset here, it will be off the arm of Jazz Mulvihill. And for Champlain Park, Izzy Ashburn, All-State player named Ms. Volleyball Player of the Year a couple of days ago, headed next year to Wisconsin. This is probably one of the most deep senior classes that Minnesota's put together in a very long time. And it was a no-brainer to those of us that paid attention to everybody that Ashburn is the best senior player in the state of Minnesota. Running a 5-1 this year after doing a variety of different things year to year that John Yunker's asked her to do. This year running the offense and with, and we talked about it yesterday, she's got four attackers with 200 kills or more. So diverse, so good at putting hitters in one-on-one -on -one situations. Just a joy to watch, a defensive presence. So Serves tough, just pulls the whole game together. You mentioned Lakeville South needing to be strong and serve receive. Champlain Park certainly had some errors on their side. Now, it didn't matter uh, against uh, Moorhead. They still won fairly comfortably in three, but they need to clean some of that up. Friday and if they want to advance to tomorrow. Absolutely true. This is a team, a, a Champlain team that we've seen can go on some pretty big runs of their own, but they also are a team that kind of cuts themselves off. They'll go on a four-point run and then bury a ball into the middle of the net, uh, get some good serve-receive opportunities and have a errant a swing that gives away two to three points. Uh, if they play clean volleyball, I'm looking for a sweep from Champlain, but they might be their own worst enemy as well. It should be a good one. Again, the winner meets Egan for the state championship Saturday afternoon here in St. Paul. Take time out. We'll get started. Set one is up first. Lakeville South, Champlain Park. Coming up next on CCX. When we found out that we were pregnant, we were just elated. We were just sitting there waiting for the pediatrician. She said she won't be taking you in as a client.
we are a lesbian couple, but she's just a baby. She's the one you're denying the service to. Day two of the 2018 State Volleyball Tournament. We're in the semifinal round, Class 3A, Lakeville South getting set to take on Champlin Park. Let's look at how the Rebels got here today in our TV match that we have versus Moorhead. Andy three straight over the spuds. Yeah, it was firing on all cylinders. Great ball control and big swings from Clark and Schmidt and uh, Hilly and Prasky. I remember hitting a few balls very, very well. The finish here, just on the heels. Excitement across, there's business to get done. Lakeville South, as Andy mentioned, won their match in four against Edina. And so it's Champlin Park and Lakeville South battling to get a spot in that championship match tomorrow at five o'clock against Egan, who defeated Stillwater on this court just uh, about an hour ago. Look at the starters for Lakeville South. Peyton Steer is a junior. Emily Torborg, Ava Mode had an outstanding quarterfinal round match. Just a sophomore, six foot three sophomore. Jasmine Mulvahill, we talked about in our pregame. Nicole Bannett, Jasmine Whiteman, and Elena Molden. The rest of their regular rotation of seven. And for the Champlain Park Rebels, Lauren Clark. One of the seniors, one of four seniors playing Division I next year. Sammy Hilly, Emma Schmidt, Izzy Ashburn, Anna Prasky, Jordan Stalpis, and senior libero, Caitlin Weimerskirch. Champlain Park had their grays on yesterday and their navy today. So we had Steve Willingham, seventh year as head coach at Lakeville South, but has been in the Lakeville District coaching for many years, was at North previous to that, and gets them to the state tournament for the second time in three years. And John Yunker, eighth season at Champlain Park, fifth consecutive appearance at state for the Rebels. Now, Willingham in a short stint as the Lakeville North head coach, won a state title for them. I believe it was back in 2008, if memory serves. Uh, came over to South where he has the opportunity to coach uh, kids that he gets in the elementary school. He's an elementary phi ed teacher. And uh, have about a five minute conversation with Willingham, it'll all make sense to you. Just has that sense of humor with those kids and uh, keeping his kids loose right now. Champlain Park coming into their sixth state tournament appearance. Like we said, their fifth straight. Uh, we talked about it yesterday, we'll talk about it again. This team got put together in the middle of August and had one thing on their mind bringing home a state title. Winning this match is the next step in getting there. Look for them to come out early, take care of this first serve receive ball, and go on a big run serving with Izzy Ashburn here after the side out. They have lost just five sets all season. It's impressive. They come in and they come to work, and we, and we talked about it again yesterday. The only team in the 3A quarterfinals to sweep their opponent, a very good Moorhead team who's uh, just about to get started to play at Edina in the consolation on the other side of the curtain. We are ready to go. Jasmine Whiteman, sophomore, will serve here for Lakeville South. 3A semifinal matchup is underway. Emma Schmidt can't cross the tape on that first attack in a Cougars point. Torberg delays her block just a little bit to get that uh, block out of the back court. Really good timing for her. Well, first point for the Cougars. Ashburn set outside. Clark will tip it over the blockers. Wide of in, tip over by Mulva Hill. Ashburn back to Clark, fires, up and out of play. Oh no, kept in play, oh that too soon. Great effort by Wideman. Now go to Clark again, off the blockers. Cougars, some great defense here, and that ball hit wide by Mose, and so Champlain Park ends up with a point in the end, but what an effort by Jasmine Whiting. Whiteman to run that ball down in front of the scorer's table between the benches across the way. You will say, wow, great effort, Jasmine Whiteman, quite a bit today. The sophomore setter, one of the flashiest players in 3A, really does a nice job moving the ball around and hustling after those balls. Ashburn serving. 
Set by Molden. Ball played back row by Plasky. You got a hand on it. Schmidt off hands deep. And Champlain Park has its first lead. Swing off the block. Molden coming in to play that second ball. Molden uh, verbally com er, committed to play. Oh, great defensive effort there. Good positioning, turns the body off the block and out. Stelpus with that dig to make that point happen. And here's Ashburn. Her serve, just long. Ashburn misses that, those errors we talked about from yesterday. Already chipping in a little bit here. 2-2. Mobile Hill serve. Weimer skirts up to Ashburn across to Schmidt. Play on the ball by Mobile Hill to keep that alive. Inside to Clark, chip back. Clark plays it and then it drops between her and Stelfus. And Lakeville South back on top. Schmidt probably needs to make that play happen uh, as the uh, opportunity presents itself. Ashburn's got to run this ball down. Gets it to Schmidt. Cross court, but missed. Schmidt working the sideline there, just missing wide. So, 4-2 south with Mulvah Hill serving long. Gets one back. Didn't miss by much there. That looked a lot closer. Here's some raucous student applause back and forth today. I have a feeling this could get interesting. Lauren Clark serving. All to the middle, tipped get over. Dug up by Prasky. Clark sends it too long. And it's 5-3. 5-3, and there's been seven errors to end points. There's been one clean play so far in this, uh, in this match. Molden serves. Ashburn to Hilly, and it's 5-4. Hilly been a little swing. early for the overrated cheer, wasn't it? 5-3 in set hey, one. Hey, <laughs> that's what I'm talking. When you get two <laughs> animated student sections like this ramped up for the uh, opportunity to go to the championship game, we might get some stuff that might get to might need to be muted out if I uh, have any fun uh, any feel on this match. Nice hey. block by Schmidt. We're tied up. Schmidt and Hilly putting a house on that ball. Big swing from Gonzalez, and it's all Schmidt. Nicole Thompson serves long. Had a couple serving errors yesterday. Andy, after getting one ball in, this one out, and she'll rotate out for Panzer. So it's 6-5 Lakeville South. with Tegan Starkey in and serving here for the Cougars. Handled by Weimer Skirch, Ashburn outside. Stelpus cuts it wide. Another hitting air for Champa Park and it's seven to five. Really like that swing. Good route Stelpus got on. She just misses. Tegan Starkey, uh, defensive specialist for the Cougars in serving here. Miner scoops up to Ashburn and sets up Hilly, but handled by Lakeville South. A player in the net for Champlin Park. That violation on Schmidt there as she gets caught up on the roll shot. You see that a lot on an out of system play where the hitter hits the roll shot. The blocker tries to hang just a little bit longer and ends up staying in the net. And that one off of Weimer skirts, a rare passing error by the senior. And it's nine to five. Weimer Skirch, normally just a rock in serve reception, takes her eye off that ball and gets aced. Starkey still serving. Hey, you're really gangster, you're so gangster. Weimer Skirch this time getting it up. Ashburn, Stalpas had a step back for that one, but got it across. Quick set in the middle, tipped over by Bannett. Here's Hilly swinging and scoring. Hilly starting to play with that uh, fire and aggression that we saw earlier in the uh, section tournament. We see her in transition here. They hang a two ball and she just rips over the block. Emma Schmidt serving. 
Run down by Whiteman and over. Ashburn back, Hilly across, dug up by Mulva Hill. Ashburn to Stalpus this time. Nice dig by Steer. Or by Mulva rather, and that one hit long by Lakeville South. And it's 9 7. Mulva Hill just overruns the ball. Uh, doesn't finish her swing, and it's an attack error. Schmidt serving well here. Nine seven is Schmidt just caught the tape. Floats down for a point, an ace for the senior. You know, seen a lot of those. We take a look at this ball. It's served, and they're trying to get Gonzalez out of serve receive, but she kind of half steps towards it, leading to the uh, service ace. That one is in. Another ace. Just like that, the tough serving of Schmidt ties this game up at nine apiece. And a timeout taken by Lakeville South. Coach Steve Willingham going to calm the troops and remind them the simple things that need to happen here. Early call, move your feet to the ball, and uh, just pass it up and let Wideman go ahead and run the offense. They've got options attacking-wise. This is probably Lakeville South's worst rotation with Wideman in the front row, uh, Mulva Hill in the backcourt, um, leading to some problems uh, to get a quick side out. They're going to need to get a one-on-one -on -one if that's going to happen. Champlin Park on the other side of the net playing actually really loose right now. They got down early and John Yonker and, and the other coaches didn't look shocked at all. Like, hey, we're just going to relax and step in and play the game our way. And now we see Schmidt behind the service line continuing the run off the timeout here. We've seen them a lot, Andy, and the a veteran group. They don't seem to get rattled. I don't say they don't, but they don't give that appearance ever, right? Correct. Every once in a while, if Clark misses on two or three in a row, they'll get a little rattled because with her athleticism, that shouldn't happen. But that's the only time we've uh, we've run into any sort of hiccup mentally. Schmidt serving is four in a row for Champlin Park here. It's attacked from the left side, but that gets blocked. Go back to Gonzalez, floats this one over. Ashburn to Hilly, missed. And Lakeville South back up. Yeah, Hilly in transition there on a little hop approach. Doesn't really have time to get off the net and get available. Good force there by uh, Ashburn, but Hilly just missing. Peyton Steer to serve for the Cougars. Good serve. Weimer skirts there for it. Ashburn outside. Stalpus. Dug up. Ball tipped over. And Rebels can't return it. Nicole Bannett gets the kill. Bannett with a very smartly placed tip. Uh, she hit 500 yesterday just playing smart volleyball like that. Drops it in front of Weimer Skirch and uh, a little bit of confusion. Hands are up to Ashburn. Stalpus down the line. Gets that one off of Starkey and it's a point for Champlin Park. Stalpus getting going here. Uh, she definitely a key cog yesterday for the Rebels here. They give her line. And Starkey out of position, not knowing whether she should play that one or not. Weimer Skirch serves. Outside, Molda Hill across. Ashburn, Clark will tip it over. Dug up by Molda. And a nice swing in the middle, and Bannett with another kill. Yeah, Ashburn on her, on her heels there, not able to get up and get across to block that ball. Frustrated with herself after the play. It's a two-point lead for the Cougars. Peyton William in and serving. Ashburn back, Stalpes, and that will hit the four a point and another kill for Stalpes. Stalpes coming alive, her second time through the front row here. Stalpes just had that one crawl over. Ball from the middle gets blocked by Clark. On the left and driven down for a point. Big swing there on the outside. Oh, 
Like Bill South ahead by two again. It was 9-5 Cougars, then 9-9, and McVille South back up. A couple of points again here. Whiteman serves. Ashford all the way across to Clark. Molden up to the net, and a kill for Mose. Ava Mose with a soft four of their, what, first kill today? Maybe. That sounds right. Had a big day yesterday. The first, yep. second ball she's got, first time she's put it away. Off the edge of Clark's she's block. She's a sophomore. Well, high end potential for her beyond high school, isn't there? That is absolutely true. Lots of big time schools looking at her. Malva Hill going for the, or excuse me, Wideman going for the end line and missing. 14-12. Rebels trailing by two with Ashburn serving. Yes! Yes! Mose, just one block. Schmidt up again along with Prasky. It's a nice looking block there by Schmidt and Prasky. Let's take another look. They both press. Again, second time that there's been a great close, but it's been all Schmidt on both of them. Ashburn serves deep left. Handled by Mulva Hill. She'll push it. Ashburn back to Schmidt this time. Over Molden's head and down for a point. Schmidt coming through another good ball right there. Block is late to get across. Molden committed to playing that ball with her platform. If she stays neutral, she might get a touch on that. Good serve by Ashburn. Mulvihill gets it. Oh, oh, down for a point. <laughs> point for Lakeville South. Stelp has watched that one all the way to the end line and then watched it drop and hit and just kind of looked at the line judge like, yeah, I probably should have played that. We'll take a look at this one here. She's like, ah, it's... Yeah, that's and that's a great call by the line judge. And given right back, though, by the Cougars on a serve into the net. So we're tied at 15 here in set one. Clark to serve. And second team all Metro this year. Quick set, a little tough by Mose, but Champlain Park was ready for that one. Yeah, Mose came in slow on her approach and didn't fool the uh, Champlain block at all as they stayed pretty flat footed early, finished well. Just a little tentative, right, on, the, on her approach. Absolutely. Why to make quick set? Nice gig by Ashburn. Here's Schmidt, hits long, and it's tied at 16. Schmidt looking for hands off the edge there, misses, and uh, the ball out of bounds, side out for the Cougars. And here's Molden's serve, deep handled by Stelpus. Weimer skirts and Ashburn run into each other, causing an error. Yeah, rare miscommunication there between the uh, setter and Libero who have played year round together for the last three years. Ashburn outside to Schmidt. Nice dive to the ball. What a play by Molden. Elena Molden, senior Libero, committed to New Mexico. Uh, very exciting play here. She's way out of position. Great layout with the quick fisty to bring that ball up, and it drops over for a point. That could be a big point here. And Absolutely. Now 18-16s, we're getting late in set one. Ashburn sets up Hilly. Bolden digs that ball. Mose with the kill. Mose comes cross court inside the block for a three point lead, and John Yunker is gonna call timeout and uh, rally the troops. Yunker, uh, in his fifth straight state tournament appearance, the athletes know what this looks like. They know what this feels like. They've gone to the state final a couple of years ago. Look for them. We'll take another look at this last point. Hilly tries to go high instead of across, and Moes finds the inside seam where Hilly's right hand probably should have been. Uh, big point there and big momentum for the Lakeville South Cougars. Yunker just calming everybody down, giving his business-like, let's go approach, 
Now Axness will come in, soften the edges, and bring him back out onto the court. These two have really found a great chemistry together uh, leading this Champlain Park team the last few years. Nineteen sixteen Cougars and Molden who had that great play two points ago and really had a nice dig on that last rally as well. Back to serve again. Your team's rattled. Your team's rattled. Woo! to Ashburn. Outside to Schmidt gets a much needed point. Schmidt takes the ball down the line as the block not able to close. Weideman not able to get her hands and hips around that ball, and it's off the uh, curtain separating court one and court two. Thompson serves. Out. That's 20 to 17. Untimely error there. Probably wish she had that one back. Went for the sideline, went for the corner. It's an aggressive serve, but just missing. Starkey, second time through for her serving. Weimer skirts very tight to the net. Ashford able just to tip it over. That's all she could do with that ball. From the middle, Mulvahill. Nice dig up by Panzer. Weideman tipped over. Back to Schmidt, another nice dig by Molden. Ball at the net, Weidemann played it. Weimer Skirch, now Tilly getting blocked. Ashburn, Weimer Skirch, to Stelpes. Back in play and over by Gonzalez. Ashburn to Hilly. How about that point? It's a big point, that will be the swing here. If Champlin comes back to win this set, it is that point that everything will pivot on. Great rally, and we see the jump set, a good double block form, but Hilly finding the deep corner where no Cougar defenders are. And see if they can build on that momentum as Schmidt serves. Weideman setting, chip over. Scalp us across. Might have been outside this time and hit long. I think there was a tip there, like Bill South was hoping for one, but there was not. Gonzalez hit as long. That's 20 to 19. Big tempo swing there for Gonzalez, and she misses the block. Schmidt line drive serve. Weideman. Ashburn to Stalpes. Scramble, mold, and can't get it up, and we are tied at 20. 2020, race to five. Look for Willingham to get a timeout here. And he will. 20 to 20. Tie ball game, going to be a race to five here. You see Steve Willingham talking to Tegan Starkey uh, coming into the timeout, keeping everybody calm, loose, and relaxed. Tegan Starkey's parents, uh, Penny Thompson Starkey, Played for Lakeville back when it was just Lakeville and went to the state tournament a few times. Depending on when you got into volleyball, that depends on which one of Tegan's parents you know better. Uh, I came in a little later. Tegan's dad, Brady Starkey, head coach for the Concordia Golden Bears, uh, a juggernaut in Division II. Uh, Malva, or, yeah, excuse me. Yes, Malva Hill will be heading there next year uh, to play for Brady and the Golden Bears. Uh, having a nice match, but not a right, right home about it right now. I would love to see her get the ball a lot more uh, if Lakeville South's gonna hold on to win this set. You don't have that situation on Champlin's side as there are four to five attackers that are capable of going off at any point. Right now we see Emma Schmidt in her second long service run, uh, had a five point run in early in the set and here she is for I believe her third or fourth this time around. Schmidt serves long. Now, we talked about this yesterday. Aggressive server should get a couple of aces like she did earlier in this set, but sometimes you'll get that. Yeah, it's one of those times where, you know, she's going to shrug that off and be just fine because they get this side out, they'll get Clark back into the front row and be just okay. Steer serving for Lakeville South, see if they can build off that missed serve. Stalpis over, handled by Molden. Weideman goes wide, and the kill for Mulvihill. 
Mulva Hill running now. That's two points in a row for Lakeville South. Nice set falling away. And uh, I think I think we probably want Schmidt, or excuse me, Ashburn jumping in on that ball, making her go line. Ashburn to Stalpes. Nice placement of that ball in front of the diving steer in the back row, and it's 22-21. Stalpes doing a great job taking a out-of-system ball and throwing it down the line. Starkey sucked up. And I believe that steer in the center back, yes it is, not able to make the long move to get to the sideline. Weimer skirts, serves, handled by Mulva Hill, wide to middle, go back to Mulva Hill. Off Weimer skirts and out. Big swing again from the senior outside hitter. She's answered the call here. Heroes are made late in sets, and that's two big swings and kills for Mulva Hill for point 22 and 23. John Yunker will call timeout. Late in the set, we want to make sure that everybody just stays calm and collected on Champlain Park side. Uh, a quick turnaround to Ashburn going, hey, can just get the ball out to the pin. Right now, look for, I believe Hilly's still in the front row here. Uh, if that's the case, look for Hilly out of server seat. Otherwise, uh, Clark's big arm has been relatively quiet as well. Lakeville South would love to get off to a great start, get a lead here. Yeah, they can jump out and take the first set. That'll uh, calm their nerves and yeah. probably amp things up into a position where Champlain Park hasn't been very much down 1-0. Peyton Willman is back in. She will serve here for Lakeville South. Ashburn back set, Stelpis over the blockers and down. Stelpis calm and collected for the 20, for the 22nd point. Great vision here, she recognizes the backcourt way too deep and that ball's gonna drop in front. Stelpis serves, that was deep but not long and cut across. Nice hand by Weimer Skirts to get on that ball. Clark, good dig by Molden. Hit long and we're tied at 23. No touch call, big swing from Mulva Hill and it misses uh, deep. Stalpas, good serve, handled by Molden. Ball outside, pounded down, and it's set point for Lakeville South. Mulva Hill gets out of that rotation again. 24-23 Cougars. Jasmine Whiteman back to serve. Ashburn outside to Clark. Good dig by Molden has had a terrific match so far. Molden Hill took a little too much off that ball. We're tied again. Big swing from Clark. South tries to answer to Mulva Hill, and she misses that one into the middle of the net. Ashburn serves. Wide and back. And Mulva Hill gets it back this time, redeems herself, and it's again set point. Excuse me, that was Mose that time with the swing and kill, and it's 25-24, Lakeville South, with Mulville Hill to serve. Mulville Hill actually did get that kill. It's rotation one, so they actually keep her stacked over on the right and leave Moe's on the left. Uh, big swing, let's see if she can take it home. Ashburn outside to Schmidt. Not yet. High to 25, Emma Schmidt comes up big for the Rebels. Big swing, Schmidt, one of those four Division I seniors for Champlain Park, just calm. Clark serves. Weidemann's got to chase that one down. A little hesitation, but Moe's got it over. Ashburn to Schmidt. Off the antenna, a point for Lakeville South. 
That's why we get dressed up in the morning. Big swing out there. I love the fact that Schmidt went for it. She missed into the antenna, the best block in volleyball. Really hard to tool that thing. Going to be a point every time. Set point again. Molden serves a good one. Tight to that. Ashburn tips it over and out. And Lakeville South wins set one. 27 to 25. Big swings across. Great volleyball, but a little bit of serve receive. Breakdown on Champlain Parkside leads to the set one victory for the Cougars. Let's take a look at this last point here. Good serve from Molden. Stelpas catches herself falling backwards. Uh, Ashburn does what she can to go make a play, but not able to keep it on her side. And just like that, we'll see the reaction from the Cougar bench here. Super excited, falling forward. Everybody jacked as it's a early 1-0 lead for the Cougars. We'll take a break, come back, set two. Last 3A Volleyball semifinal, Lakeville South and Champlain Park next on CCX. Energy Center, Lakeville South wins set one against Champlain Park, 27 to 25. The third seeded Cougars going up on the number two seeded Rebels. Neither team, Andy, hitting particularly well in that first set. Way too many errors as Lakeville South has eight attacking errors and three serving errors. Champlain Park, nine attacking errors, four service errors. That means half the points that were scored were scored by the opponent on errors. That's not the type of volleyball you want to see with one of these teams working their way to the state championship match. Uh, down one set, Champlain Park will serve to start and look for them to see if they can get that middle going a little earlier and a little cleaner on every side, every portion of the ball. Izzy Ashburn getting ready to set the Rebels up here in set two. Weideman set up Mulva Hill. Good dig on that ball by Ashburn, pushed across by Clark. Weideman back through the middle and over by Torborg. Here's Schmidt, gets blocked. Dug up by Weimer, skirts, and ball falls to the floor in front of Kraske. Schmidt and Ashburn there kind of running into a little communication error as uh, Schmidt transitioning off. Ashburn not able to get up to the net, and that led to that ball going to the floor. Mulva Hill had some big kills late in that set, Andy, as you talked about during that timeout at 20. And, and she had certainly had some big plays. And so it's off of Weimer's skirt, so it's an ace for Mulva Hill. Mulva Hill, the key cog for the Cougars in set one. That's a lot of that sound together. We call that alliteration? Yeah, that sounds right. Mulva Hill with a big ace there. 2-0 Cougars. Well, gives one back. It's 2-1. She might be the exact athlete that we have with uh, Schmidt on the other side. She's going to live and die by that serve. She goes for it and misses one. Clark. Molden. All she can do with it is get it up to the net, and that's an easy play for Hilly. Yeah, nice serve by Clark there as she backs Molden up. Molden creating too much angle, too much energy, and Hilly's going to take care of that every time. Molden able to get this one up to Whiteman. Swing by Mose and over. Ashburn in the middle. Hilly swings. Good dig by Whiteman. Molden will run it down to Mose. Back row by Stalpis. Ashburn up to Schmidt and down. Cougars out of position defensively there. Schmidt drops that ball off the uh, off the off the block and down as Gonzalez had sucked underneath the block. 
Clark floating the serve over Molden to Mose. Just a little long. Going to go for that back corner. And the Rebels with a run now of four. Weideman keeping that ball too far off the net for Mose to go and get. That's an opportunity. Maybe you go to Gonzalez, see if she can keep your point alive, as Mose is going to go for it just about every time she gets set. Weideman back to Mose. Missed again. The back to back hitting errors for the sophomore. Big swing, tries to take it down the line. Re regroup there with Weideman as they're trying to figure out if that needs to be a different set. I like the set location. I just like to see Mose finish it. Weideman back, Mose across. Clark runs up to play that. Schmidt. Weideman, Molden. Mulvihill pounds one, but that's dug up back row. Ashburn for Prasky. Outside. Good swing by Gonzalez. Molden runs this ball down. They get it back and over by Molden. Ashburn pushing it deep. Mulvihill runs that ball down. Gonzalez missed. Gonzalez, the call is good down the line. I thought that ball went over the antenna. Let's take another look here. Oh, no, it is inside. She pushes. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe in the compression of the ball, part of it hit the sideline. Well, big point, I was going to say, for Lakeville South, but they give it back on a service error by Molden, and so it remains a three-point lead for Champlain Park at 6-3. Into the match and serving, Nicole Thompson had a tough set one. Let's see, let's see if she can reset and get after it here in set two. And Whiteman can't run that down. So serve receive error for Lakeville South, and it's seven to three. Champlain Park off to a good start in the second set. Gonzalez not able to take a first touch, first step towards the ball, and they push her out of serve receive. Whiteman back. Mo swings but misses. Big swing into the block of uh, Stalpis there, and down. A lot of this so far, this lead not being built necessarily by Champlain Park, but by Lakeville South, giving them a big help out. Now here they get one back on the attack and a kill by Bannett. Well, yeah, and if you look at the stats from set one, it's just right. more of this in set two, just not clean volleyball. There's been some great defensive rallies, and here we see what happens when you take care of the first touch. You put Weideman in a position to run her offense, and she goes right up the middle for the kill. Starkey serves. Ashburn across. Dalpas gets the point. That is a decision, I believe. I thought it was an, a position breakdown, but it seems like South is actually sucking their left front defender under the block, leaving that entire space on the left sideline wide open. 9-4, Champlin taking advantage. Schmidt serve off Bulba Hill. To the front row, Gonzalez misses. Attack error, and just like that, it is 10 to 4, Champlin Park. Student section behind us willing their team to side out in this situation for South. Champlin Park firing on all cylinders. That's a great sleeveless look in the front row there. I can't pull that off anymore, John. <laughs> well, a silver seed there by Molden. We talked about it in the pregame. Lakeville South has had some serve receive struggles. It hasn't been from Molden, though, and there we see her, maybe a chink in the armor, and uh, Steve Willingham's going to call a timeout and uh, talk things over. You all right? I just, I mean, you can just tell the communication that's happening right now. He's talking with his server seed players about what they're seeing, what they're not seeing, and uh, trying to keep everybody loose and calm. Let's take a look at this last serve. It's a bullet. You can read Bodden the entire way, and the bottom drops out. Molden not in a great position to make the play. Great touch, good long arm and lever from Schmidt in the back row there serving, 
and uh, everything going Champlin Park's way uh, without having to do a lot. They've been they've had some great defensive plays. Uh, they're obviously serving tough, but it's more a breakdown on Lakeville South side than a push and a pressure from Champlin Park. Up by seven. Egan in the opponents for one of these teams in the final. Wildcats defeating Stillwater in four sets this morning. Schmidt serves long. Great timeout by head coach Steve Willingham. One of my favorite chants we got during that last semifinal. Stillwater won the first set. They're up in the second by three points towards the latter portion. And they bring out the this is our house chant. And the Egan Pitt responds with count the banners. Uh, the Wildcats have been in at least the last three, maybe four state title matches, winning two of them. Mulvihill misses. Another hitting error for Lakeville South. And it's just a one-point run. I guess one point doesn't constitute a run for Lakeville well, South. Well, it's the beginning of a run, yeah. at least. Weimer skirt serves. With one diving down and handled by Starkey. And this one by Mulvihill goes off the hands and out. And it's 12 6. Mulvihill with the thumb down 4 to 4 shot here. Let's take another look. And this is a great angle to see. She goes high and gets around the block, but it has some English to it to bring it to the right of Weimer Skirch. Stalpus attacking. Ball tight to the net and over. It goes. Ends up going off of Starkey, who I think it was trying to get it up to her setter wide a minute, and it ends up floating over and down. Yeah, big point there. And now we see, uh, is that little Peyton? It is Peyton Willman serving right now. Ashburn for Clark. Got it down for a kill. I think she went OTB there. I think she went right over the top of Wideman uh, and down behind Starkey here. Let's take another look. Great camera work as per always. Oh no, there was a big hole in that sideline and she found it. 13-7, Stumpa serves. Outside, Mulva Hill off hands. Handled by Schmidt, Ashburn back. Touched over by Prasky for a point. Prasky, we haven't said her name much today. She gets the slide kill there with a cleverly placed tip. Nice location, right over the outstretched arms of Mulva Hill and in front of Molden. Good serve, Molden can't do anything with it, and it's an ace. Molden shakier than I've seen her all season long. The libero has been a rock for the Cougars and is in a little bit of trouble here. 15-7, another serve from Stalpa to go right at Molden again. Over by Mulva Hill. Ashburn to Clark, and another point for Champlin Park. When this Rebel team gets rolling, they are tough to stop. Another big swing from senior transfer Lauren Clark. 16 to seven as it is all Champlin Park. That one went in the seam of the block and they seem to be doing no wrong. You know, we talked about it at the last time, but it wasn't so much that Champlin was doing much. It was that Lakeville South was making a ton of errors. Since that time out, Champlin Park has actually woken up, which is a scary thing to think about as they are on a huge run right now, outscoring uh, the Cougars late here. I believe this is like a four-point run or a 4-1 run at minimum. Champlin, everything going their way, and uh, they are just pushing on the accelerator, finding that uh, next gear, if you would, uh, for them. Lakeville South looking to get out of this rotation into a situation where they can actually take the lead. As we look through things, uh, Lakeville North uh, took a match, and those were, is that, am I reading that right? The only sets that Champlain Park has lost are, the two are to the matches they lost. They lost. Yeah. Two, That's absolutely lost. ridiculous. Two out of three to Egan in the tournament in Chaska in late October, and then the five set lost to Lakeville North in a regular season match in September. That's it. All 30 of their wins have been sweeps. Uh-oh, that's trouble. Can't get the ball up to Mulva Hill. And another point for Champlin Park. So they come out of the timeout and they add another point to their lead. Stalpus 
good run for her here serving Andy. Another good ball. Weideman going to push it out. And this one down. Good set. Weideman getting it out to Mulva Hill. And Jasmine taking care of that ball. To make it 17-8. Mulva Hill with the big swing. Finally getting out of that rotation. Weideman back to serve here. She's going to need to go on a run. She's capable. Ava Mose back in for Whitefield South. Who's going to play this is Schmidt getting it over. Weideman will set it up right side for Mose. And Ashburn getting it back into play, and Weimer Skirt saves it. Outside from Mulva Hill, off of Weimer Skirt, kill Lakeville South. Great rally, and now that run starting for Lakeville South as they went back to Moe's in transition. They get outside here to Mulva Hill, and she goes off the block and past the outstretched hands of Weimer Skirt. Mulva Clark gets on. Go three in a row now for. South. Big swing from Clark there. Like the opportunity she got, just didn't finish her swing. Weimer Skirch. Schmidt to Clark. Walked back. Ashburn will set to Clark again. Off hands. Comes back to Clark. Handled by Torborg. Weideman will set up Mose. Call that a tsunami in the game. It's a four-point run, and John Yonker has seen enough. He will call a timeout. Just when you thought the Cougars were dead in the water, a four-point run. Let's take a look at this last swing from Moe's. Clark lines her up well, but actually gets wide with her hands instead of pressing across, leading to the kill for the Cougars. 11-17, and uh, Cougars actually got a little strut, got a little uh, fire in their belly right now. Look for them to come off this time out. I'd like to see Weideman take control of the serve. Sometimes she gets really gassed uh, into these moments. Um, I'm reminded of uh, head coach Hima Kutchin talking about when Dalian Lise Rosado played for the Gophers. Uh, if she had a good serve but not an ace serve, uh, but she thought she could put more on it, she caught herself in trouble really going for that next one and it tended to be an error. Let's make sure that Weideman for the Cougars stays calm here, put some pressure on the ball, put some pop on the ball, but not looking to rip the cover off it. And Weideman serve, and good one. Weimer Skirch gets to it. Ashburn back, Prasky over. Dug up by Molden. Attack is down for a point. Peyton Steer, who I jokingly uh, chuckled at when they listed her position as outside hitter. The DS hasn't played in the front row in years, and she just finds the corner there. Ashburn to Clark. And blocked back. Moe's getting up there along with Torborg. And the Cougars within four. It's a six-point run here, and Penn State commits uh, into the big hands of Moe's. Ashburn back to Clark. Weideman back to Moe's. 17-14, a 7-0 run. Moe is really getting after this ball. Nice swing, great location from Weideman. And uh, the Cougars actually on the doorstep here. Weideman served, just got over. Stalpus gets to the floor to play it. Clark gets long. Clark in her first state tournament appearance. Pressure might be getting to her as Mo is kind of in her headspace right now. Another good serve by Weideman. Ashburn set to Clark again. Weideman tight. Mo's able to just get it over. Back to Lauren Clark. It's blocked. Schmidt. Clark will tip it. Weideman setting for Mulva Hill, blocked and down. Big block by Ashburn and Kraske. I forgot that side of the net even existed. We've spent so much time with the Mose clark battle going on, and they go outside to Mulva Hill, and we are reminded that Izzy Ashburn can do it all. Weideman back, cut across by Mulva Hill. Go back to Schmidt. 
touchdown. Roll the hill and then over by Mose. Ashburn for Schmidt. Two in a row for Champlin Park. Good response from the Rebels there. Nice long rally. Schmidt ends it. Ashburn serves Mulva Hill, Molden. Back to Mulva Hill. Ashburn and Prasky hitting air into the net. That was a one on one situation there. Prasky's got to take advantage of that one better. Gonzalez back in for Lakeville South. Mulva Hill serving. Ashburn missing on that set. Clark can't run it down. Point for Lakeville South to back to within two again. Ten to two run for the Cougars here. Now Mulva Hill gets one back. And it's 20 to 17. Is that the uh, room in the oxygen tank that Champlin needed? A little bit of breathing room right now. They got a, they have a three-point lead in Clark serving. Weideman back to Moe's offhand. Couple of big kills in this run here for Lakeville South for Ava Moe's. Moe's with another big swing and another kill out of serve receive. Look for Hilly out of serve receive here, maybe in front. Ashburn goes to Schmidt. Schmidt goes off the hands of Moe's there. Great swing from the senior outside, really finding the block well and using it to her advantage. So South down big, not within two a couple of times, now trailing again by three. Weideman outside, Gonzalez off hands, handled back row. Ashburn back to Schmidt. Back-to-back -back kills for Emma Schmidt. You're going to want to know where Schmidt is. I think she's going to find a way to take care of this one on her own. Twenty-two, eighteen, with Thompson serving. Back it goes to Mose. Much needed point for the Cougars. Mose took a great opportunity across the front row that time. Got herself, I believe, five kills in that one three rotation stint. Uh, Tegan Starkey in now and back to serve within three. Ashburn outside and a kill for Stalpus. Big swing for Stelpis off the blocking hands of setter Jazz Weideman. Late getting across. You can see she's still facing out of bounds, not pressing back into the middle of the court. Emma Schmidt serves down for an ace. You can't let that ball go if you're Lakeville South. You got to play everything close. You can't wait for an opportunity and wait for a mistake. And that one good by a few inches. Set point, Rebels. Weideman back outside, over by Gonzalez. Oh, kept the line. No, no. no it was down. All it right. was down, but great effort from Champlin. Just the same. Gonzalez, a name we haven't said often, coming in with a clutch swing there. And more importantly for the Cougars, rotating Mulva Hill back into the front row. And no margin for error here for Lakeville South as Steer serves. Ashburn setting up. Stalpis off Molden. Back to the front row, bumped across. Ashburn to Stalpis. Dug up by Steer. Swing by Bennett for a kill. And it's 24 21. Bennett, really nice job getting herself available, and Weideman sneaks that one in there. Big opportunity there, taken advantage of by the Cougars. 
Hilly frustrated with herself for bailing early, will definitely stick around longer, knowing that the setter Weideman loves forcing. Ashburn chips it at the net. Weideman will set up Mulvihill. Hands are up. Ashburn across to Stalpus. Starkey plays that. Well, Weideman quick set for Bannett. The Champlain Park gets to that. Weideman from Mulvihill. Back row. Now it's Ashburn quickly for Hilly. Weideman will set again to Mulvihill. Cross court missed. And set two goes to Champlain Park. Great defensive rally. Big swings on both sides of the net. Kids working hard in transition in Champlain Park, who jumped out to a 17-7 lead here in set two, finishes with a 25-21 victory. Let's watch that whole point. Great rally to start. Good opportunity there to dump it across. Cross. Oh, we're going to go down line. Sorry, on the first one. Lots of running from these setters. Good swing down the line. Weidman going to force middle. Tip picked up well. Weimer Skirts going to go outside, out of system. Starkey with her second dig of the rally. Big swing into the six, picked up easily by Schmidt. Pushed across by Hilly, trying to tire out Mulvihill, but to no avail unless, and there it was, you see it, not able to put the work in in transition, and it's just wide. A lot of excitement from the Rebels, except from head coach John Yonker taking a big final exhale as they finally get out of that set. One, they thought they had one early. Cougars fight back, but can't bring it back enough. Great set, too, for the Rebels. We're tied up 1-1. One, one. More volleyball from Maxell on CCX after this timeout. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Lakeville South won the first set, 27-25. Champlain Park comes back, wins set two, and we are tied up, going to set three. Neither team, as you look at our statistics provided to us by the State High School League after two sets, hitting terribly well. A little bit better for Champlain Park in that set. A little bit better for both teams, but still not nothing off the charts. What really jumps off the page to me is the fact that in set two, uh, Champlain Park turned their serving game around and had four service aces and simply one error. Uh, that definitely being the difference in set two. First point here on a hitting error by Champlain Park goes to Lakeville South. Ashburn back to Clark. And we're tied at one. Clark with the big swing on the right side. She's comfortable hitting from over there. Would prefer to be on the left, but when you play for John Yonker, you're just going to go where it works best for the team. And here's a great look at that ball as uh, Gonzalez, excuse me, Moe's late to see it. Clark serves 1 1. Molden on the serve receive. Wide of an outside. Pounded by Mose. Nice dig up on that ball. I go to Schmidt. The dig by Weideman. That one is down for a point for Lakeville South. The kill for Mose. Great rally won by Lakeville South there. Good defensive effort from Weideman. And Mose throws it into the corner to finish. So 2 1. Cougars early here in set three. Ashburn outside for Schmidt across. Molden runs up for that ball. Mose gets blocked this time. Hilly, nice job getting up and blocking that attack. Great eyes. Hilly has just, she's a workhorse, and here we see it again. She gets up, she gets her hands across late, but presses back in in order to get that block. Tied at two with Thompson serving. Gonzalez will push this across. Thompson up to Ashburn. Back for Schmidt. A nice dig 
Finally, just south but they can't end up with the chance to get it over after the initial nice play by Mulva Hill in the back row. Yeah, Mulva Hill against, <laughs> sees no block in front of her, kind of dives forward and makes a great first play. Back set, ball across. That Hilly violation on Hilly there. Three three with Molden serving. Right back to Champlin Park. Molden service error there. The uh, senior libero. It's her seventh service error of the match. Lakeville South. Schmidt to serve here, feast or famine from the service line. Four aces and now three service errors. She's going to be her own highlight reel on both sides of it there. She wishes she had that one back. You could tell when she tossed it she didn't like it. Ashburn outside, Stelpis off hands. Run down by Starkey. Here across by Gonzalez. Here's Hilly trying to answer. Tight to the net. Gonzalez down for a point. Surgical into this corner are the Cougars. There is another ball falls nowhere near a defender for the Rebels. Line is open, and she takes it just barely off the end line. Great swing from Gonzalez, the senior outside. Served by Starkey. To the net, Ashburn able to get up there, read that well. And Stelpus with a block in the middle, ties it at five. Bannett trying to cut around her, and Stelpus presses across for the big block. Weimer skirts serving. Attack. Weimer Skirch handled that ball. Here's Stalpis. Floats it across. Molden runs that ball down. Wide him in the middle. And a point for Mulva Hill and a kill for her. A backcourt set. Good, good location on that ball as Mulva Hill able to get on a runway and come through well. Does a great job swinging into the deep five. Weimer Skirch wishing she had that one back. Steer serves. Schmidt. Ashburn Clark, point Champlain Park. Big swing off the block goes Clark. I thought she had over the block written all over that when she drops inside and extends the court. Big swing here. She's up high enough and then catches Weideman's hand coming late. Stalpa serves. Attack and the swing again from Mulva Hill. Mulva Hill just shrugs that one off like it's that easy when we get the ball we're supposed to get. Big swing from the senior outside hitter as Weideman puts it on a tee. No, no, no. Ashburn for Clark. Tied at seven. Clark willing her team to get a little bit more amped up. They seem to be just business as usual. And when South has the energy they have, here's the look at the swing as it catches into the deep cross court, big swing. Outside swing this time, Mulva Hill missing and along with that attack. Looking for that back corner, missing that time is uh, Mulva Hill for the Cougars. Ashburn serves, handled by Molden, very tight to the net. And Weideman plays it over. They go to Schmidt, back, dug up back row by Steer, over here by the Cougars. Rebels tying to attack back. Clark, great dig by Lakeville South. Ashburn this time, and over by Prasky. Weideman outside, pretty wide. Mobile did what she could and got it over. Molden with a great dig, but couldn't get it up to a teammate. A long rally ends with a point for Champlain Park. 
Really great job there to throw this second one over. Let's take a look at this big dig. Great defensive effort as Steer gets knocked onto her butt. And then we see Ashburn again, like she did to end the first match, done with this rally and throws it over on two to end it. Swing wide by Mulvihill. Champlin Park up by three. Weimer Skirts very aware of the sideline there. I thought she had got sucked too far in. She drops the shoulder watching that ball go out of bounds and it'll be a timeout for Lakeville South as the Cougars trail seven to 10. See uh, Ac Coach Axon is there grabbing, sh uh, excuse me, grabbing Clark. Lauren Clark. Goodness, it's been a long day already. <laughs> and uh, having a quick word with her before John Yonker addresses the entire team. Uh, we've talked repeatedly about how Yonker kind of comes in. It's all business all the time, talking about what we need to do in this rotation, recognizing, okay, where is Mulva Hill? Where's the kid that can beat us? I believe she's in the back row. They're going to talk about how to attack this rotation. Willingham, more of a feel coach, probably talking about, hey, let's make sure we're out there for each other, working hard without the ball, taking care of the little things, uh, and making sure that everybody's in a space to take care of one touch. We see Weideman jumping back out onto the court, getting eye contact with the rest of her hitters, uh, making sure she's got a feel for which one wants the ball here. Uh, I'd like to see the ball go uh, to the middle. I believe that is, do we have, is it Bannett in the front row right now? Can't see from our exact angle, I believe so. And it's Torborg. On oh, it side. is Torborg, yeah, thank pin. you. Yep. Back out on the timeout. Mulba Hill tried to tip it across. The Rebels were set for that. Here's Ashburn setting up Schmidt. Big by Molden. Free ball and hit over by Torborg outside to Clark. Nice tip by Clark. Having a much stronger start to this set than she had. She had some definitely swing errors, some attack errors in that second set. But it's been strong so far here in set three. What I really love off this timeout is there was a blocking switch as they put Mulva Hill on the left side for blocking purposes. We'll see what happens in transition. Oh, they're going to go back to the way it was, and Clark feasts on it. Weimer skirts up to Schmidt, pushes it back row. Played there nicely by Steer, over, handled by Ashburn. Weimer skirts back for Clark. Another point for Champlin Park, and Lauren Clark starting to heat up. Clark getting after another ball. She's feasting on the small block of Malva Hill here. We'll take a look. She goes up, or excuse me, of Weideman, and actually she takes that one inside it for her fourth or fifth kill in this series of rotations. Ashburn floats that across. Ball outside and pounded down. A big point for Lakeville South and for Jazz Mulva Hill. Mulva Hill finally getting them out of that rotation. Big, ser big service run and big swing run for Clark. Now it's back to Whiteman who helped Lakeville South on a long serving run in the last set. Starting this, we'll help Cougars hope is a long run again. Molden bumping it outside. Mose dug up. Stump is laying out for that ball. Swung and down for a point. Mulva Hill able to just find the edge of the court there. Mulva Hill elevates so well on that play right there. Goes over the block and drops it behind the backcourt defense of the Rebels. Back within three are the Cougars. Ashburn outside for Schmidt. Weimer skirts for Schmidt. And off a hand and out. Steer could not dig that ball. And it's 13-9, Rebels. Nice opportunity there as uh, Steer kind of caught on the outside of her feet instead of being balanced and neutral, not able to get back to that ball. Weideman, quick set. Tor, we're going to reach for it, but got it over. Here's Schmidt. Cuts it across, Molden dives under. Boy, there's a little bit of a delay there. Ashburn was pointing to Molden, and they do get the point. Great hustle, uh, and in the, in most 
rule sets, that's actually a legal play since there was nobody on the other side in the way. But uh, at the high school level, that is a violation anytime you go under. Tip by Champa Park. That's a point for Lakeville South. Torberg with the, I think that was Torberg through the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Off the edge of the block. Good for the side out. 14-10. Cougars trailed, as you remember, in that second set by as many as 10. Got to as close as two. If Mulvihill can get them rolling again. Ashburn to Hilly. Floats it over. Molden jumping up for that one. Ashburn outside for Schmidt. Blocked, but out. Schmidt swinging downhill and into the block, finding the edge out of bounds. Big kill to get out of that rotation. 15-10, five-point lead for the Rebels, and into the game again is Thompson. Thompson serves out. Thompson serving woes continue. She did a pretty nice job all the way through set two, got through her first rotation this time, and then misses uh, her third service error of the day. Hands are in. Molden back to serve. Ashburn to Schmidt and over. Champa Park gets that point right back. Schmidt, great vision, catching Molden on her heels. Drop back, she never gets stopped, so she's late coming forward. Great position, great spot for that tip. I think it's time for a feast from Schmidt here. Back row, Mulba Hill. The back set, Mose missed. Trying to rip it down the line off the set from Whiteman. Mose coming through the court, going line, sees that it's open, block wasn't there, but she misses just wide. And another timeout taken by Steve Willingham in Lakeville South. Willingham frustrated with the swing selection there. You could see it on his face right after that ball missed. Uh, I think there may be some game plan they're looking at, wanting to get into the right back instead of down the line to finish that play. Uh, see what comes off this timeout. See what kind of rotation they're running. Seeing who we're going to set. Uh, I believe we've got a few options. Uh, obviously, Moe's in the front row. I believe we've got Gonzalez up on the other side. Uh, look for her to get going. Uh, we've called her name a couple of times, which means the block is paying more attention to Moe's. Uh, Champlin Park on the other side. Schmidt serving tough enough, uh, limiting the middle opportunities for uh, the Lakeville South Cougars. Uh, look for Schmidt to attack the Wideman Molden seam uh, right here off the timeout. timeout. Ball goes back to Moles. Great dig by Schmidt in the back row. Going for Lakeville South. Back row block. She's front row. She's front row. That should be a replay. Yeah. We will get a replay on that as the joust happened. Moes and uh, Ashburn touching the ball at the same time. Uh, typically in a 6-2 situation, the setter's back row there, and, uh, and then it's a back row uh, block violation. As it turns out, uh, what we're gonna have here, because she's front row, that's a joust play, and we should have continued playing volleyball. Whistle comes early, we'll replay the point. Sub had already happened, so they've got to undo the substitution, make sure everything's good to go at the scorer's table, and we're back to live volleyball. The Cougar student section on board. Let's play volleyball. Schmidt serves. Might have been outside, and Gonzalez rips one for a point. After a lot of pomp and circumstance, we still get the side out for Lakeville South as they trail by five. Starkey to serve, which means, yep, Wideman back into the front row. Look for a lot of balls to get pumped outside here against the small block of Wideman. 
Ashburn will set up Hilly. Dug up back row. Panzer gets to that ball. Ashburn, Schmidt will float it across. Diving out is Molden for that ball. The dig by Weimerskirch. Hilly in the middle. Molding in, diving for a ball. Crossed by Molda Hill. He's Ashburn. Back, Hilly and down. We called Sammy Hilly's name a lot today. That's a big point there for big the junior. Big point for the junior middle blocker on the slide there. I'm a little confused with the uh, attack options here. They keep going back into Gonzalez, and finally on the third opportunity, it drops for a point. 18-12, Weimer skirts with a diving serve. It's handled. Lakeville South able to get to that. Panzer, nice dig up. Stelp is across. Wide him into the middle. The Mulva Hill for the point. Mulva Hill on the bick there. That's a great second tempo back row set. You don't see much at the high school level. And she was ready for it. The Rebels were not. 18-13, Steer. Back to serve for the Cougars. Ashburn will set up Lauren Clark. It's long. 18-14. Clark trying to go down the deep line instead of going over the top of the smaller wideman in there. Uh, Clark may be trying to outthink herself a little bit. She went on a huge run earlier in the set, just abusing the block of Wideman. They go out to her again. That time she goes cross. Played back to the middle. And Steer got it. Nice job by Schmidt. Did she get that ball up? No. Point for Lakeville South. That is not that line judge's call. If I'm John Yunker, I'm furious right now. She's completely screened by Weimerskirch. That ball clearly up. We better continue. We better get a replay onto that. Look at it again. Watch Schmidt get a Off hand. the tape here. Oh, that's a tough angle there. I think our first angle, we had it really well. Going to continue rally. See what happens. You're unsure here. You got to replay this point. A long discussion here, Andy. And they're going to replay it again. That's the right call here. Yeah, because the ball was never down. Right. And, and, and if you're not sure here, you can't end a rally here. You see right behind Weimer Skirch is where, oh, that's a great, our camera crew might be some of the best in the country. That's great camera work. That ball clearly up. They will get a replay on it. And uh, we'll continue volleyball. We'll replay 18-14 here. Steer to serve again. Good job, Dan Wasserman there in the corner. Got that look at it. Schmidt gets it up. Ashburn outside Clark. Pounds this one off the block. There's the swing from Clark we needed a little bit ago. 19-14, Champlin Park up here, kind of stepping away. Stalpus, Starkey up, Weideman and down for a point. Mulva Hill gets in Lakeville South. Point 15. Weideman, big swing here. Ball died inside, and Weideman let it get across her body. That's a really smart swing from the senior outside hitter. The serve long. And it's 20 to 15, Champlin Park. Tough time for that serving error from the serving specialist, I believe, is that uh, Peyton Willman, yes. Ashburn serving. 
But set ball blocked by Clark. Big block from the Champlain Park Rebels there. Housing that ball, 21-15. Hanging it, and Clark on her own with the solo block. Rebels by six. Ashburn dives that serve over. Molden handled it, though. Weimer skirts, runs the ball down. Ashburn back. Emma Schmidt missed wide. Point Lake Hill South. Schmidt missing wide on the attack there. Good set location from Ashburn. Uh, Schmidt wishing she had that one back. You just see she's looking. Hey, I got it. Looking for a touch. We're OK. John Yunker unimpressed as per usual. All game face all the time. Whiteman serves. Ashburn for Clark. Dug up by Molden. Whiteman back for Mose. Weimer Skirch gets hands on it, keeps it alive. Goes to Schmidt, floats it back row. Dug up by Spear. Back to the middle and bumped over. Ashburn tight to the pin, but Schmidt able to push it over. And Lightfield South can't do the same on their side. Mose had nowhere to go with that ball. 22-16, that entire rally, both student sections, when their team had the ball was the yes call. When the other team had it, it was no. One of those really great moments in high school sport. Run to the ball, and Mose can't get to it. Lightfield South in trouble now at 23-16 Champlain Park. Whiteman just not getting that ball where it needs to go. Clark serves, handled by Molden. Mulvahill, good point for the Cougars. 23-17, Mulvahill go back to serve. Gonzalez in, and Steer out. Mulvahill seems to be taking a lot of swings and just, just almost angry when she's not getting the ball. Really doing a nice job. Good serve. Off Weimer skirts, right to press row here. It's an ace for Mulvahill. Weimer skirts not rattled off and kind of didn't see that one come to her. They go at her again. Ashburn sets for Prasky, drops it across. Set point for Champlin Park. Prasky out, Thompson in to serve it out. Molden seems to be too deep on the right side attack from Champlain Park. She's been beat on that short tip four or five times. Thompson serves, dives it over. Molden got to that one. Mose gets blocked and Champlain Park wins set three. 25-18, Champlain Park Rebels up 2-1 in this state semifinal. Big block to finish the point or to finish the set. Great rally, good volleyball. It's got a state semifinal feel to it right now. Take a look at this last point. Serve dropping Molden across. Back set to Mose and Prasky. Big block for the point. Oh, excuse me, Stelpis for the big block to finish the set and the two set to one lead for the Rebels. We'll take a break, come back. More volleyball from the XL Energy Center. State Volleyball Week on CCX continues in a moment. Hey, look, it's those guys. Are you good to drive? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Champa Park Rebels now a set away from winning the semifinal match. They're up 2-1 on Lakeville South. We talked about the Division I players that Champlain Park has. They've got four of them. Izzy Ashburn and Lauren Clark both going to Big Ten schools to look at some of their work last week in the section tournament. Yeah, I tell you what, Clark, 
kind of quiet in the first couple sets, really came alive here in set three. And Ashburn has just been a surgeon with her set location throughout the entire match, finding the blocking matchup that works and finding uh, one of many hitters. She had four hitters, we said yesterday, with over 200 kills. And the fifth one couldn't have been far off. They are a very diverse offense with her running it. And uh, she just seems to put her hitters in great position. Here we see Clark finishing a big swing there. And another good rally ending with Ashburn finding the hot hand and then taking it into her own hands to finish the quarterfinal. Here we see Clark normally a big time banger, but she can also drop a shot in like she did right there. Uh, if we look at the stats here for the three sets we've played so far, uh, Lauren Clark, eight kills, six errors on 31 swings, but she had four kills just about in a row in set three there during that big run to extend the lead. Uh, Ashburn, 31 assists so far, and uh, Champlin seems to be firing on all cylinders. Their attack numbers rising each set as we get going. Um, I'd like to see, if we're talking about it, I'd like to see Sammy Hilly get a little bit more involved. Uh, she's only got 14 swings, four kills, um, and all of them seem to be coming at clutch moments. I thought we'd called her name more than that, but uh, according to the stats, four kills only for Hilly. Look for her to get more involved here in set four. Champlain Park, two service errors, no service aces in that third set, Andy, but you look through the first two sets, they had 22 kills, 14 hitting errors, attack errors, and then that last set, 13 kills and just two errors. Yeah, big swings from the outside and from the middle. It's a cleaner volleyball we're getting here in set three. And now we're starting to see the championship level volleyball that Champlin has been playing most of the season. For Lakeville South, what do they need to do here in set four? Find Malva Hill more. It's pretty simple. Find Malva Hill more and make sure they make an adjustment so that tip to the four spot doesn't keep falling. Molden's got to make a great read and pick that up. The New Mexico commit has really got to get better eyes on the attackers of Champlin Park. You know, replay what was going to be the first serve of the set. Now we're underway. There's Malva Hill and there's your first point. When Malva Hill gets the ball in a decent spot, not even in a great spot, she's turning it into points just about every time. Nicole Bannett back to serve for the Cougars. They go to Schmidt, cross, handled by Malva Hill. Back to her, out. And a point for Lakeville South. Little confusion there as there was some, maybe that hit the antenna first, but it did go off the Champlin block before it hit the antenna for the 2-0 lead. That one dives over and it's an ace for Bennett. The old zone seven serve, see if you can clip it off the tape. It's a nice service ace uh, for the Cougars here. We'll take another look. Weimerskirch expecting that ball into the net, not moving forward quick enough. Ashford dumps it over. Ashburn out of the back row on two, catching all of the Cougars on their heels, finally getting out of that rotation. First point for Champlin Park here in set four as Clark goes back to serve. All the Hill is going to run that one down just to get it back to the middle and does. Ashburn to Emma Schmidt for Champlin Park. Schmidt with her 13th kill of the match. Schmidt really seeing the block well and going off the edge of the block to slow it down enough so it drops in front of the backcourt defender, Molden. Molden runs this ball down and it's swung wide and long rather by Mobile. Mulva Hill with the miss there. Uh, she's got 16 kills and now nine errors, uh, but has taken 45 swings. Definitely the lion's share for the Cougars. Tied up at three as the Rebels are on a 3 0 run. Make it four. Krasky with the kill. Frustration there on the part of Torberg as she's out of position to make a play. Tough serve and answered. 
Clark serving 4-3. Floats it across, handled by Steer. Back to Mulvihill, blocks and wide on the return. Yeah, Hilly looking at Mulvihill there, so that makes her an easy target for Mulvihill to go off the edge of the block and down for the Lakeville South, Lakeville South point. Jazz Weideman serving. Schmidt blocked, but out. Schmidt abusing Ava Moses' big right hand there out of bounds. Answering the call as Mulvihill did the same thing just the point before. 5-4 Rebels, Thompson serving. Molden, Heidemann, all she could do is play it over there and an easy play for Jordan Stalpas. Stalpas taking advantage of the set across and uh, it'll go down as a kill. Stalpas with 10 kills now. 6-4 Rebels. They're on a 6-1 run. They get 6-2. Serve long. And 6-5 in the match. In the set, rather. Hands are in for Thompson. And Mulvihill back to serve. Ashburn to Hilly. Pounds that down for a point. Been a lot of big swings on the pins for the Rebels, so they're going to go one on one in the middle here. Hilly will feast on that. Big swing. Schmidt serves. Gets the tape and over. A lot of tough serving on both sides of the net here. Serve received kind of in a struggle for both teams set to set. We'll take a look at this service ace again. Another great high contact point. Gonzalez frustrated, not able to read that tape serve. Schmidt, five aces today. Wide him into the middle. Nice tip over by Torborg. Back it goes. Stalpis cuts it for a point. Big swing from Stalpis there as her number gets called yet again. Yeah, a little bump set here, cross court. That's actually in Molden's lap. She's got to be able to make that play. 9-5, Champlin Park leads, timeout, Lakeville South Cougars. Uh, adjustments have been made throughout the match. Uh, we're kind of in a chess match situation with two of the best coaches in the state and Steve Willingham and John Yonker. Uh, both programs very historic. Uh, South only been to state twice, but been on the doorstep multiple other times. They just happen to be in the same section as Lakeville North. Uh, Champlin making the most recent adjustment, trying to figure out exactly how the cross court ball can work the best. Uh, Molden normally sucking around the 10 foot line. Actually did a pretty good job reading that one, uh, but drops it inside. Guy in the front row in the Rebel student section there is Bennett Otto. Starting quarterback, his and his teammates season ended at home to Lakeville South last Friday. They were hoping to have a game to prepare for tonight. Instead, it's Lakeville South football that will continue tonight. And uh, so we'd like his school to get a little redemption here by the uh, Ladies in navy and gray, if it can happen. Good play by Lakeville South to get a huge point out of the timeout. So what you're telling me is when Lakeville South started that let's play football chant right. in the middle of set yes. two, that might have cut a little close uh, a little to some bad. of the Champlin students there. I think so. Love the fact that these football players get out and support the volleyball program. Always a big fan of athletes supporting athletes. Lakeville South playing Woodbury tonight at Osseo High School in the state quarterfinals. Ball outside, Gonzalez too strong. Looking for hands and missing. A uh, program a little closer to my heart, Blaine football was up 14 to two in, at halftime and starting in the third quarter, there was a fire at White Bear Lake High School killing all power to the school. They're gonna finish that game today. What? Yeah, I was, Celeste was I telling me about it yesterday. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what? Off the antenna on this swing by Mose. Mose? Had some big plays early in this um, match in set one, but struggled a little bit since. Yeah, you can tell the block has made an adjustment. Uh, that time it's just a poor set. Stelp has kind of had her number anyway, but that ball outside the antenna. Ashburn goes to Clark. Another point for Champlin Park. Big swing. 
Clark, I believe that now puts her into double digits for the match as well. Great one, -on oh, block comes late and Clark sees the seam in the block. Ball outside, and Moe's missed again on the attack. Trying to go down the line, point champ on Park. Missed on the sideline. Moe's starting to get frustrated with herself, and her. she gets a little excited sometimes, and that's what we saw right there. Willingham recognizing the body language of the Cougars starting to drift will do his best to calm them down and remind them of the simple game that they get to play. Um, I've actually heard Steve give a, a we're here with our friends timeout before and the Cougars responded quite well. What, see what he has right here at the state tournament. Um, this is a great group of athletes. They've played a lot of good volleyball together. Uh, not playing their best ball right now with some uncharacteristic errors. Uh, but let's call a spade a spade here and recognize that Champlain Park is playing great volleyball, putting a lot of pressure on the Cougars, uh, making them in these uncomfortable situations not feel like they're in a space to go after it. Uh, Champlain Park firing on all cylinders, serving tough, swinging big, blocking well, and the floor defense has been outstanding for the Rebels. Schmidt uh, able to pretty much run, or excuse me, Ashburn able to pretty much run the offense however she would like uh, as they are in system with a lot of attackers uh, getting available often. Champlain Park only at 13, but it's 13-6. So Lakeville South's got to be pretty perfect the rest of the way to extend this match, right? And, and not only do they have to play flawless, well, but they've got to hope for more of that. Yeah. Some uncharacteristic errors from the Rebels as a service error off the timeout. Um. The Weimer skirts missing on the serve, making 13 to 7 as Starkey is in now. Lakeville South. See if she can get the Cougars rolling here in set four. Lakeville South down two sets to one. Clark over. Ah, oh, Molden played it over. Weimer skirts. Ashburn back to Clark and down. I mean, she didn't mean to take that much off of it. He crawled over the tape and down. Fell on the right side. That's all they needed. This is the rotation. Nice. We'll take another look at this tip shot. Uh, tried to be surgical with it, and it almost caused an error. Uh, nice job by her to get that point there. And a service error getting Lakeville South out of their worst rotation. Um, Big sigh of relief from the Cougar bench there as they now get Mulva Hill back into the front row. And Stalpus was served well today, giving one back there to Lakeville South. She's got a dive for this ball off the serve from Steer. Clark down. Takes care of that. Clark with another big swing with Wideman in front of her. She's able to just kind of swing free. Uh, Wideman has, does she have a block today? I don't believe she does. Uh, no blocks for the sophomore setter uh, and has been attacked quite a bit when she's been in the front row. Wideman, a uh, big swing and kill from Mulvihill. Mulvihill unloads on that ball, really nice job. Back into the game will be Peyton uh, Willman. The DS has done some really nice serving things. We'll take a look at this last swing. Uh, from Mulvihill as she goes inside the block and down in front of Molden. Wilman set to serve it up. Ashburn setting up Emma Schmidt, back row handled by Wilman. Mulvihill just tapped that one over. Weimer Skirch runs it down over by Schmidt. But back to Mulvihill for another point. One spot that ball could go as it's a greatly placed tip by Schmidt taking, clogging up the front half of the court. Mulvihill the only one that can get set and blocking vision not very good there for the Rebels as Clark on the antenna and that ball set three feet inside. Going to Emma Schmidt, tips it over the blockers, run toward the table, and over by Steer. Back to Schmidt, didn't get across. Point, Lakeville South, it's 15-11. Schmidt puts that one low into the tape. Her first net error of the tournament, from my memory. Uh, she's normally playing well above the net, and it's not even a part of the game. 
Ashburn, Prasky tips it over. Boy, a big point for Champlin Park and a nice placement there by Hannah Prasky. Prasky, the junior, getting the senior heavy Rebels out of that rotation. Unexpected as Mulvihill expecting that ball to go anywhere else doesn't jump, but also doesn't get back to play defense either. Clark in and serving here at 16-11. Molden, Mulvihill takes a swing, gets blocked. And that's a point for Champlin Park. Mulvihill trying to find the edge of the block and get that ball out of bounds, but Prasky too strong. Clark serves. Quick set, and Torborg pounds down the set from Weideman. Great decision there by Weideman as she sees one half block in front of her as Prasky had already committed to, or excuse me, Hilly had already committed to the outside to get in front of uh, Mulva Hill. Weideman serves. Ashburn will set up Schmidt. Didn't miss this one. Off Mose and out. Schmidt really coming through well down the down the stretch here. Another big swing for the senior outside hitter. Uh, this time off the edge of the block of Mosen down. 18-12 Rebels. Thompson Sir handled back row by Molden. Wide a minute. Go back to Torborg again. This time Ashburn able to dig it up. Back to Schmidt off Molden. Run down by Steer. And Molden will bump it over. Ashburn back to Schmidt. Hug up by Torberg. Moes off hands and down. Moes with a big kill to get another point for the Cougars. Uh, that puts Mulvihill at the service line. They're down by five. We'll take another look at this bump set from Weideman off Hilly's hands and down into the into the deep court. 18-13. Mulva Hill serving, back row. Ashburn will get it up for Stelpis. Cuts it across, Molden played that ball. Back to the middle, Mulva Hill. Ashburn, quick set for Hilly. And Rebels bump it over. Ashburn get it across, nice play. They get to the floor by Mulva Hill, but then Mose hits the tape, or maybe Stelpis his hand. Either way, it's a Rebels point. Rebel point, Mulva Hill laying out on a free ball. That's just poor communication. We see her there. That's a pretty good up. And then we have Chaos and the ball to Moe's, and Moe's out of position trying to do too much with too little. Point Rebels, and they are six points away from a shot at the state title. Schmidt serves deep, but handled by Molden back row. Weideman for Gonzalez. Reimer Skirts runs that ball down and over by Stalpus. Moes missed long. And it's 20 to 13, Champlin Park. Moes missing again. Everything falling Champlin's way right now. John Yonker fought and his team five points away from a shot in the state championship match. Schmidt serves. Torborg hits long. And another hitting error. Seems to be those errors coming in bunches for the Cougars. As all we've seen from Champlin recently is just a serve up and in. And uh, Schmidt serves over the tape down for an ace. All the bounces going Rebels way right yep. now as they're about to roll away with a four set victory over the Lakeville South Cougars. Cougars out of timeouts. Schmidt, this one long. 22 14. Running out of real estate out of the Cougars. Molden's going to need to go on a run here. Ashburn set it outside. Stalpas got it blocked back. Run down by Schmidt in the back row. Ashburn back to Stalpas again. Off Molden. Weideman plays it to the middle and over. Nice play by Molden Hill. Hilly down. Back 
Blocked back nicely by Lakeville South. Over again to the floor. Lakeville South can't get the pass. And it's a point for the Rebels. Moses probably got to stay in and play that ball. That's two balls that dropped right on the 10-foot line uh, on the right sideline that Malva Hill's playing, but that's not her ball to play. 23-14, great vision by the Rebels. Limer skirts working that gum as she serves. <laughs> Over on the swing by Gonzalez. Here's Stalpas. Molden right to Stalpas. And it's match point. Stelp is kind of feeding herself there as she gets a pretty good ball and cuts it cross court. And then she takes care of the ball that's tight to the net and finishes it to set up match point. Weimer skirt serves into the net. 24-15. Starkey to serve. He puts it across. Ashburn in the middle to Lauren Clark. Trying to finish it off. A little too aggressive on that swing. Cougar saying in a 24-16. Starkey with another chance here. Ashburn back to Stelpus, and there it is. For the second time in three years, It'll be Champlin Park versus Egan for the State Class 3A Championship. Great swing by uh, Stelpas to finish there. And uh, back to the final go the Rebels. This team got together in August with one thing on their mind, and they are, their date is set. Egan, two years ago, in one of the greatest Class 3A finals I've ever witnessed, uh, Egan won in five. Champlin, most of these athletes remember that match. Uh, Champlin Park looking to take it as their turn with a senior heavy class. Wendy, they struggled early, especially in that first set. I mean, a lot of errors. A lot of errors really for the whole match, but not so many in sets three and four. But early in set one, or all of set one and early in set two, able to finally right the ship. And, and Lakeville South, a lot of errors on their end didn't help themselves in the end, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately for Lakeville South, their tournament is going to drop short. They're going to be into the third place match uh, here tomorrow morning. They are going to take some opportunities right now and thank their band, thank their fans. Um, I love the class that Steve Willingham uh, plays with. Uh, sometimes the bureaucracy of the state tournament is a little bit different as he had to have words uh, with one of the tournament organizers uh, wanting to keep them on their side of the bench. Um, We'll take a look at match point here, uh, and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more about tomorrow. Nice serve here. Schmidt plays it well. Big swing, cross court, quick side out, quick champion or quick match win to punch the ticket to the championship. And the reaction, everybody's excited. It's almost a breath, a deep breath there as Champlin, knowing at the beginning of the season this is where everything was leading. The only question was, was it going to be Lakeville North or Egan that they got to play in the championship match? Stelp is really good down the stretch. The junior kind of taking over and finishing. So it's Champlin Park in Egan, 5 p.m. Saturday here at XL Energy Center. Now, we won't be able to bring you the matches live, and all of them have been taped labeled. We'll turn it around right away. And we're just happy that we're able to, to bring this volleyball to you. We were shut out last year by the web arm of... That's a whole long That's thing. a whole other story. I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I was able to work a few of the matches for Prep Spotlight TV. They're wonderful people to work yep. with. We love the fact that they're allowing us back in uh, to, to cover these great matches. I'll tell you this. Our camera work and honestly our broadcasting works significantly better than what we're going to get on the other side of it. Uh, I love the opportunity. Great job from the Champlin student section, from the athletes. Uh, great work by you as per always, our camera crew. Spot on as usual. I don't need to say anything else. Thanks, man. All right. Well, then uh, let's call it a day. We'll see you tomorrow, we'll see you everybody. All wow, right. And for Andy Gugusberg, all of our great crew, I'm John Jacobson. It's Champlin Park in the state 3A final to play Egan Saturday at 5. And we'll see you next time here on CCX.